We just got this beautiful litter of boas. But look at this, we have some insanely dark annery motley boas inside of here. All right, what is up guys? Check it out. So we are here another day at South Bay Reptiles. We'll go down to the description, get my code. If you guys are first time users, ship your reptiles. You guys can get a discount code on that. If you guys are ordering for the first time from Cold Bloody Cafe, you guys can type in that number as well. That will be in the description and get yourself a discount. But again, guys, I just posted a video not long ago. Uh, I think the last video actually about why it is I have to come here every day. And even when I want to take a day off, I can't because you never know what's going to happen with animals. They never stop. Live animals just don't stop, right? Today's another prime example. Check this out. So we have a boa from Casa de Fuegos, by the way, uh, two boas from Casa de Fuegos. This was a breeding he was going to do, or I think he did do before. No, no, no. He was going to do. And uh, now we have the project and we actually went ahead and paired them and saw what they would make, you know? And uh, the female is 100% het leopard, 66% het anery, and uh, this is type 1 anery. And then the male is a motley het anery, 100% het leopard. So those are 100% and then we get the 66%, you know, on that one. But um, yeah, so this female just gave us babies today. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to flip the camera, show you guys how the babies look, take them out. The mom just struck. And then uh, I'm gonna put them inside of warm water. So first things first, I have this tub right here. I got some warm water in there. Now, I already had this sitting before the video so that it would cool off just a tad, which it has, and I'm happy about that. And yes, I do have to clean. Snakes do poop all the time and we keep them on doggy pads. So whether you like to see it or not, I mean, that is just it. I mean, while I was here, which is funny enough, my beautiful Burmese, Decided to lay a nice one and pee everywhere. Nice little urates. Wow, that almost looked like an egg for a second. I got a little scared. Um, and that's that's just what it is having reptiles. Okay, guys, get over it. Yes, there's poop. Don't don't freaking try to clean shame me. Okay, see everything else and how spotless and clean it is. Don't don't come at us, all right? But um, let's see. Okay, let's try not to get bit by this beautiful mama right here. Yes, I see you, and I see you're very very few duds and uh i'm gonna have to go get a hook because i'm not getting smoked by you <laughs> let's see if i can get you out better on this side so here is mama who is going to light me up Ooh. okay so here's the girl i wanted to show you right here you guys can see beautiful pattern but she is for sake of argument normal in pattern right Except when you go to the belly, look at how much spotting that has everywhere. And usually we see that with leopards or het leopards. You really, really see that. So again, we're going to go ahead and check out her babies. As you can tell, she gave me a run for my money right now. And uh, she almost got me actually. So we have her in this bath. I'm not sticking my hand in there because she will smoke me. As you see, she's about to hiss at me. And I wouldn't doubt if she actually takes a bite. So there she is, beautiful snake. Let's see her babies. All right, and here we go. Here are the babies along with some more poops right there. And look at that, right off the back, right off the back. I can tell you, here's a beautiful motley. Um, now, is this leopard? Uh, I don't think this is leopard. Oh, let's see this in the light. This is Annery. So we did prove out for anery. There we go. That is freaking awesome. Type one anery completely proved out right there. That is freaking amazing. Motley on this one, which is great. You can see that square tail. But the leopard, I don't think there's leopard on this. I really don't. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all in a bath right here. Let's see, ooh, look at that. That's a dud by the way, for those of you who don't know. Look, that is a motley right there. Look at that tail. Oh my gosh, that is a really cool tail. So, anery motley right here. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, so gorgeous. Wow, look at that. That is freaking amazing. This is another anery. I'm going to go ahead and give these guys another bath in a separate tub right there and uh, just make sure they're real nice and cleaned up. Oh, and just real quick so I can show you guys, here is the dad. <coughs> Again, a motley anery. Het leopard, 
right here. So that is the father. That is the sire to the clutch you guys just saw. Very nice stripe all along the side right there. And just a gorgeous snake overall. Take a closer look at a few of these. And look at this one right here. Super dark. Super, super dark. Really nice motley look to it. And then you have this one right here that almost does not look anery. So, not even the eyes. So, again, I'm going to have to talk to Casa de Fuego. I'm going to have to talk to Greg Kruikshank. I'm going to have to talk to um, Mike Roscoe and a few other buddies that do boas. And uh, we're going to figure out exactly what this clutch consists of. I know there's motleys in here. I know there's anneries in here. Uh, I don't think there's any leopards in here. I'm not seeing any leopards. And um, I definitely see two potential, three potential holdbacks. I see one, two... Oh my God, these boas are fast. And three, right there. For those of you who don't know, I have boas trying to escape every single time I grab one. Bam, so we can't let that happen. And um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to finish this up. I just wanna share this with you. This is what happened at night. We just got this beautiful litter of boas. I'm really gonna have to take care of this, guys. All right, so there you guys go. I have these all inside of their V35 bin now. We have their paper towel just a little misted right now. I'm gonna go ahead and mist them a little bit more now that I see that they're already drying up. But look at this, we have some insanely dark, dark, beautiful, anery, motley boas inside of here. Just some gorgeous, gorgeous boas, guys. Again, this was extremely hard to do with one hand. So thank you guys for bearing with me while I did this, while I had to put the phone down to clean up the uh, the dam's cage or the mom's cage and then go ahead and clean these guys up and all that. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Now we can take a look at some of these beautiful, beautiful boas up and close and look how dark this one is. And look at that tail right there, almost jet black, honestly. And then this one, which again, I'm really gonna have to talk to a few of my buddy uh, boa buddies for, such as uh, uh, Rich Del Bono or, um, or uh, uh, Greg Kruikshank and, and of course, Mike Roscoe. So I'm gonna have to ask these guys what they think of this, what they think of this litter, what's going on here, why some of them are so dark, um, how we got so many anneries and um, yeah, what, what else they think, honestly. And I'll keep you guys updated with that on my Instagram, sw.reptiles. So there it is. We got some beautiful boas right there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you guys are new to the page, make sure to like that. Oh wait, here. Make sure to smash that like button, guys. <laughs> and then um, if you guys are new here, then um, go ahead and press the subscribe button as well, guys. And if you guys want notifications, put the ring something something on. I think it's like the ring bell or, or whatever it is. So it pops up the notification when I post something new. But uh, if you guys want to keep real updated with that, that's what you guys can do. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for dealing with this hectic video. Again, I had to record this myself. I have one hand right here and one hand on the camera. So this is kind of vlog style right here, which is a little different to me. I'm getting used to it. I think I'm going to have to start using my gimbal a little bit more so my fingers aren't so cramped up on the phone or a camera, phone, whatever I am using an iPhone. But um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for dealing with this hectic episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And make sure to go down in the description where I have my Instagram link down there, TL Constrictors link down there, our Morph Market right there where you can find all of the available animals right there as well as ship your reptiles and cold-blooded cafe and your coupons that are linked onto there. I'll have the links there and then I'll have the coupon right after with the code that you guys can use if you guys are first time users. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.